Alright, so there's a few cheat codes for the original Donkey Kong Country. To start, there's a code called Bad Buddy Code, which effectively makes it so that you can switch between your characters and multiplayer uh, without having to have the lead player, for lack of a better term, uh, give you permission. So on the game select screen, highlight erase data, which is this right here, and then press B, A, down, B, up, down, down, Y, and then A. And that will basically allow you to skip ahead of your, basically allow you to force take over the controls. The next code we have is the music test. So once again, highlight erase game. And then press down, A, R, B, Y, down, A, Y, and then press select. And now we're in the music test. And it looks like by pressing select, you can change the music. Well, the intro is playing. If you press down, Y, down, down, Y, you should be able to practice the bonus rounds. I'm not sure if it's this or the other one, though. It's that one. It's whenever Cranky Kong is messing with the music. And then you can practice which, with, with whichever character you want. Now, arguably the best code is the 50 lives code. So if you t go to the erase screen and press B-A-R-R-A-L and then pick a game, you'll start the game with 50 lives. There we go, 50 lives. And then if you hop up here and go into this building that you just fired out of, you can get a 51st life, so you can start the game with 51 lives. Now in Millstone Mayhem, there should be a way to cheese a bunch of lives. So to start this, we want to be Diddy Kong. And we want to lure Crusha over this way. So effectively, we want to lure him over here. Jump over him, and then we want to slide on this thing so that it bounces on his head. It's easier if you can get yourself up here and then just wait for him to come by and then time it so that you land and then slide down whenever he starts coming back at you and then you hold left on the joystick and your lives will just start going up rapidly like that. And as long as you hold left on the joystick or left on the D-pad, you'll just keep getting lives all the way up to 99. Although according to this, the counter display stops at 99 but can keep going higher. So we're going to find out if that's true or not. I am well above 99 lives at this point, if this is to be believed. i go ahead and, uh, okay, never mind. I was going to hope that he could get rid of me, but that's all right. There we go. And even though it popped, we still have 99. So, uh, yeah, I would say that that's a good cheat. Alright, for Diddy Kong, uh, for Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest, the first cheat we have is to do the sound test. And it looks like we need to start a new game to do it. So on the two-player contest... Yeah, so it's literally just repeatedly pressed down until eventually this pops up. And then with this, you can start changing the music it looks like we use the actual d-pad to change the songs with this one and then once you get music test just hit down five more times and you get cheat mode Once you're in cheat mode, you can press B, A, right, right, A, left, A, X. And that will turn on hard mode, which will make it so no barrels appear throughout the level or throughout the game. Additionally, you can press Y, A, select, A, down, left, A, down. 
and get 50 lives right at the start of the game. There we go, we got 50 lives. Ross is still playing hard mode, so the barrels won't appear. There are five different levels in the Lost World, and you need to give Club of 15 coins at K. Rule Keep, Krem Quay, Gloomy Gulch, Crocodile Cauldron, and Crazy Kremland in order to get in. However, there is a way to get 75 Krem coins stupidly easy right from the beginning of the game. Doesn't matter if you do a new file or not, so I'm just going to use mine, and then we can... Uh... Alright, so you go to Gangplank Galoon, start up Pirate Panic. And then step into Carol's cabin down here. Do not grab those two bananas. Do not grab them at all in this sequence. Don't grab the balloon. You can look at the map if you want. Alright, I gotta be really careful not to... You can kill as many enemies as you want throughout the sequence. It doesn't matter. Uh, but what you need to do is grab these bananas. And then once again, avoid grabbing those two. This time, grab the life. Doesn't matter if you touch the map. And once again, avoid touching those two bananas. God damn it. Hopefully that's not going to influence it. Alright, avoid touching those. And when you come back in here, 75 creme coins. Well, it actually takes you straight to 75 creme coins, because I started with some. Alright, so starting in World 2, you can find these Clubba's kiosks. And he'll charge you 15 crumb coins to get in there. Go ahead and pay him up. And then you can get around the level now. This is the actual level. This is the way out. And all you have to do is press A. My dumbass thought, oh, they're both alligators. So clearly, they're both the level, not the way back. No, one of them is specifically the way back. I'm just an idiot. Also, a little fun fact for you is if you press start and select at the same time, there we go, it'll take you out of the level if you've already completed it. And you still get to keep whatever you took out of said level, so there might be a couple exploits for that. So in Hothead Hop, there's actually a chest we can abuse here if you have both Tiny, or sorry, Dixie and Diddy. And when you stack them like this, you want to launch them so that whenever you press Y to throw your character, they go straight up, and then you can aim them a little bit over to the left. And using that, you can get a hidden chest here that's actually just very dark, which contains a balloon with a few lives in it. And by a few, I mean two. So once you get that, you can just press the start and select to get out of the level trick like we did before, and you get to keep the lives. And then you can do this again. As you can see, we're up to 17 now. And you can keep repeating this as need be. Using the same trick, we can actually get infinite banana uh, tokens, which are used to save at Wrinkly's and fly around with Funky at Red Hot Ride. So you're once again just going to stack your partner on top of you. Press B. Sorry, not B. Press y to throw your character over and then if you jump up here there should be two tokens press start and select same time re-enter the level and you can get another oh i missed one hold on get another two from that and then do the same thing just keep hitting start and select till it reopens and the only requirement is that you have actually finished red hot ride and hothead hop to do both of those tricks
Okay, so there's actually quite a few cheats we can do here. However, they work, they work a little differently than in the previous game. So you're going to punch in this code on every single every single time you put in the cheat. You're going to put L R R L R R L R L R and then you're going to put in a code. And you punch in the code by hitting up and down until you get to the letter you want and then cycling around and finding the next one. So for this code, I'm going to spell lives and it should allow us to start the game with 50 lives. All right, and as you can see, we have 50 lives. Good Lord, that took forever. So we have a save here, which will let you auto save the game and Mary, which will allow you to uh, do the Christmas bonus games. If you use the code color, it should switch Kitty Kong and Dixie Kong's palettes. So now Dixie Kong has a purple beret and Kitty Kong is wearing green. Using the code MUSIC, you can access the sound test. Which you just navigate by hitting up and down. It's the easiest one to navigate. And then press A to change the song. Now with the code HARDER without the E, I refuse to read it the other way. This should set the game into a higher difficulty. And with the code TUFFS, like this, it's supposed to be like TUFFS, this will make the game super difficult, which uh, basically puts no continue barrels in the game. You can actually play with the blocks by pressing L, R, X, A, B, and then Y. And then you can see... There it is. Once it gets to the end, you can start playing around with the blocks. And if you just keep pressing the, the buttons, they'll just keep going higher and higher and higher and higher. All right, now we should be able to get the Lost World to spawn by swimming counterclockwise around these rocks right here until it forms. Once you've done that, you've unlocked the Lost World in Donkey Kong Country 3. That's all for this one. Happy haunting.